have a look. I've reset A to 1, which changes the function, and now press the OK button. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn off the graphs again because I want us to concentrate on how the enlargement acts on the points of the graph. This time we have a hyperbola. That's correct, we have a hyperbola. I chose this deliberately because it highlights the action of the stretching on all the points of the original graph. If we change A from the one which we have now to 2, then all those points should once again move further away from the x-axis. There's only one way to be sure. Let's check. I'm getting the hang of this. I suppose then that when we move the marker to a position less than 1 but greater than 0, then the points of the transformed function will be moving closer to the x-axis than the points of the original function. Let's confirm that. That's great! One last question. Please turn the graph back on and let's see what happens to them when the value of A changes. Okay. Just as you guessed. Well done. How did people ever see this so clearly and easily without computer programs? Let us try to summarize what we saw in that demonstration. The function g of x equals a times f of x is a vertical stretch of the function f of x with a scale factor of a. This is a stretch for a greater than 1 and a compression for 0 smaller than a smaller than 1.